Hey everybody, uh, time to do another Inktober. Today is day 10 and the prompt is sour and I did do some brainstorming on another page of my sketchbook. <clears throat> I couldn't really come up with anything uh, spectacular or really out of the norm for sour so I chose to just do a, um, a face that looked like it had tasted something sour and then I just kind of uh, went from there. In fact, I didn't really know what I was going to do other than the sour face. And um, so I just kind of ad-libbed as I went. Um, uh, even with the brainstorming, uh, I did, you know, I suggested sour face in my brainstorming along with uh, lemons and um, sour patch kids and sour straws and sweet and sour sauce and all that kind of stuff. But I couldn't think of anything that I just thought was you know, really weird. So, uh, I went with a sour face and then, like I said, as I went, I kind of changed things up a little bit. So this is the rough sketch. I am, um, just kind of, I don't know how I've, I've got two reference photos, one of a lemon and one of a uh, face. Um, but the face, I mean, the the reference photo of the face doesn't have everything I really want, so I'm kind of making some of the other stuff up. Uh, I'm spilling ink, and uh, obviously, I, originally I wasn't going to do the face yellow, but I decided to just go ahead and make it full-on lemony looking. And so, um, the slicing up of the lemons was my wife's idea. Uh, she comes to the rescue every now and then with some really great ideas. Uh, she doesn't always understand my particular weirdness or logic, but that's okay. She loves me anyway, and I love her. All right, nothing on the mushy stuff. Um, I am using this um, manga G nib pen holder and G nib, and uh, I was using this ink right here. Uh, to make the dark outline. It's actually blue and I thought it was black. Uh, it's the indigo blue um, but in the I had some in the little container, the little dish and it looked black but apparently it's actually blue. I don't know if you can see that but that's okay. It's still dark enough and it worked. Um, like I said, sour um, proved to be kind of a difficult one and so I just wasn't really sure what to do. I'm hoping some of the other prompts are going to be um, not easier. still want them to be challenging, but I'm hoping I can come up with some pretty weird ideas. I usually do the background very, very last, but I need to let some of this um, ink dry, so I went ahead and started doing a little ink wash in the background. Uh, I'm not sure if I used the right red. I uh, didn't really like the way it looked, so I started adding yellow and kind of mixing it together. And then I wasn't too crazy about that, so I ended up taking a paper towel and blotting it. And then that just didn't look great to me either. And so uh, later on in the video, you'll see I come back with some of the indigo blue and swipe over it. And I think that makes it look a lot better, I think. Um... Yep, so how is your Inktober going? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, let me know what your thoughts on all of this Inktober stuff is. I, I'm really enjoying it because like every day I'm, I'm drawing and painting and there's already a prompt kind of to, to get me started. And I have an idea of like just doing this for the rest of my life. I don't know. Maybe not Saturday and Sundays too, but five days a week, just having prompts ready and coming in and working on those prompts. I think it uh, might be my retirement. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I also got a new uh, pen. It used to be a, I got a new fountain pen. I saw it on a Peter Draws video. If you don't watch Peter Draws, you ought to watch Peter Draws. Um, he's another YouTuber and he's amazing. And he does a lot of fountain pen reviews. And 
he did a fountain pen. It was fat and chubby. I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but it was it was a cool looking pen and it was clear so you could see the ink on the inside of it. So um, I thought it was super neat. I looked it up on Amazon and sure enough, it was inexpensive and I could afford it. So I ordered one and it came in the mail and I've been using it and I like it. And I think I saw it in the video. You should be able to see it on the left side of the screen somewhere along the way. I don't know if it's already passed or if it's later on, but it's a cool pen. I like it. I'm excited about using it every day. Uh, did a lot of hair drying. Um, what you see at the top uh, of each thing is the you know the exposed slices. That was rather interesting to paint because it's like super light. You know, it was either white or it was yellow, and uh, it's hard to get it there to be enough contrast really between the white and the yellow. But I think I, I kind of made it happen. Uh, and this is where I decided to add the blue. Boom. Add a little blue. I don't know what that does to the color. Does it make it more green or purplish? Or does it look really blue? Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you all this, but I am colorblind. Or I don't know if you've watched the videos where I've said I'm colorblind, but I am. And so what this blue is doing here, uh, not entirely sure. Surely it looks blue in the really thick places. And then where it overlaps the yellow makes it kind of green and so on. I don't know. Anyway, so that pretty much sums it up. Um, glad you are watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying Inktober. Uh, keep coming back for more. Share this on your favorite social media. And uh, check the description down below for different things that I might have left out of the video. And that is it, my friends. Um, it is your turn to go make some art.